What the fuck? Mm. Give me that shit, bro. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. Me? Oh, I, I was just hacking the fucking government. The fuck did you think I was doing? Man, you won't believe what crazy shit these fats have on their goddamn hard drives. It's insane. Hentai this, hentai that, jerking my fucking b- Anyway... What's up, what's up, what's up? BitConnect! It's me, ASUX! Did you miss me? Ah, who am I kidding? The time between this video and my channel trailer wasn't even that long. Anyway, so I thought today I want to try out ranking stuff. At first I thought, huh, maybe a top 10 list would be cool. You know, like... Top 10 Hottest Anime Metal Waifus Number 15 Burger King Nick Nocturnal Ha ha ha! Number 10 Bark Thumb Sex with Keeper! Sex! <coughs> Sex with Keeper! Number 10 Again Bow the Whale Yep, my dick is in my hand <laughs> My dick is in both my hands right now Number 1 KT <coughs> And that's how you do that. Number zero, your mom. I'm only stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick right now. I'm just stroking my shit. <laughs> but then I thought, you know what? I've done that already. In previous YouTube channels I've created and deleted in the past because I was ashamed of even existing in the first place. So I thought very long and hard about something else to try out. For a whole long ass, super duper time consuming one minute. Yeah, okay, maybe I didn't spend a lot of time thinking about it, but who cares? Who cares? That's me! And if you don't like me, then surely you don't like Jesus either. Take that, naysayers. Destroyed with facts and logic. Whoosh. Where was I? Oh yeah. So I came up with the original idea of making a tier list. But not any kind of tier list. No, 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 no. I had the best idea in the whole wide world. Animal tier list. Because tier in German means animal, uh, so, you know, get it? No? No? Fine. And here I thought I was cute and clever. Anyway, I'm gonna rank animals by awesomeness today, so don't be a bitch. To stay true to myself, I chose a tier list template that I found online rather than making my own. Because minimum effort is great and all. It'll get you far in life. Take it from me. The most famous and awesome neuroscientist slash entrepreneur slash best human ever voted by my mom. The other tier list template I found had over 300 animals in it. And since that's a lot of animals, possibly including a lot I don't know, I gently said and instead chose one with just a handful. I'm a busy guy, you know, you may not know this, but aside from making music, making videos, I sometimes watch videos and jerk off, maybe play some games, oh, fucking, and jerk off again. <laughs> busy business. Anyway, animals, cool animals, shit animals, your mom. We've got a couple lined up here for this tier list. Again, a template I found. Because I ain't making my own and waste my time searching for pictures of animals on the internet like a goddamn boomer grandma searching for that funny pussy pic. That's not what it is for. The old school motherfuckers surely know what I'm talking about. The internet is for... Alright, let's see what we got here. Actually, let's just start and go animal by animal, starting with the first one. That way, it'll be a surprise for me too. <coughs> ah, yes. The axolotl. They are just the cutest alien things ever. I still have no idea what the hell these things are exactly, but I love them regardless. So that's a pretty easy pick to be honest. Oh yeah. <coughs> oh yeah. <coughs> oh yeah. S tier right from the get go. Alright, next we got snakes. Like my past friends. Snakes are shit and weird and ugly and terrifying. I once saw a video on how to cook a snake so you can eat them in the wild in case you... You know, wanna become a homeless caveman or something. I don't remember exactly to be honest, either way. I saw the snake being beheaded and impaled on a fucking stick, which was disturbing as is. But the freaky thing was, the snake kept moving, even while the dude roasted it. That's what freaks me out about snakes. Not the way they look or move or live or the things they do. No, 
the fact that if you kill them, they still continue moving as if alive. For hours! When I was a child, my childhood friend who lived in the same building as me somehow found a wild snake in the bedroom, which, now that I think about it, it really is sassy baka shit. Because we lived near a city, in front of a hospital, and, and quite far from a forest. Huh. Where the hell did it even come from? Uh. Well, anyway, her grandmother took care of it and beheaded the snake, so, you know. You can't continue slithering around trying to bite everyone. Thing is, the head and the body of the snake, which were separated, mind you, continued to wiggle around. The head even continued to try and bite everyone. That was the freakiest, scariest thing I've ever seen at that point in my life. Which, I mean, I was a child, so I haven't seen anything that fucked up. So I guess it's not surprising that that was the most fucked up thing I've saw up to that point in my life. Yeah, no. snakes are disgusting weird creatures and so I feel no shame to gladly announce that we already have our first D rank. <laughs> Ladies and gentle fuckers, may you burn in hell, snake from... <laughs> From Metal Gear Solid, who can't sneak around cause he's dummy thick and the clap of his ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. Moving on, Video Game Donkey. Hey, it's me, Video Game Donkey. Cool guy, funny videos, nice teeth. A tier. Why A tier and not S tier? I mean, their weird ass laugh sound like my talking voice and I'm offended by that. Like, ah, oh, ah. <laughs> Yeah! Next, and um, what the fuck is that? An iguana or lizard? B tier. They're kind of funny every now and then, but let's be honest, they're not that interesting. Pretty basic when it comes to animals, in my opinion. Yes, my opinion. If you think iguanas or whatever the fuck that thing is are cool enough to be on A or in S tier on this ranking, then shut your cute mouth and touch my willy. Because I'm a hypocritical racist when it comes to animals. And I think they are me as fuck. Next, toads. Not the ones from the Mario games. Though they are awesome. They sound just like me and are useless, just like you. Best of both worlds, really. But no, this... It's just a normal real life toad and not a mushroom fucking man. What gender are toads anyway? I mean, there's toadettes, so I guess toads are males? Shit, sorry I got distracted by my horniness for Super Mario toads. Real life toads are ugly, but funny. They stand around, look angry, and I get the feeling that there's barely any thought behind those eyes. Plus, I heard that if you kiss them, they might turn into a prince. So that's pretty cool, but also gay. That's why I'll put them on B. Also, I won't rank them by position on each tier. That's just too much work. And by now you should know that I don't like to work at all. Okay, moving on. Yes. Fuck yes, now we're talking. I got them armadillo. Uh. Honestly, I know barely anything about these critters, but the things I do know about them is that they're actually pretty cool and roll up into a ball and shit. Plus they look like a weird mix between an oversized bug body mixed with an overgrown rat head and a tail which reminds me of rats too. Now that I think about it, they're actually just another abomination of nature. But goddamn are they cute. And the whole Samus ball thing is awesome as hell, so... Easy peasy lemon squeezy A tier dudes. Alright, now we got... What the fuck is that thing? Wait, that's an iguana. So I guess the other one was just a normal ass lizard of some kind. Anyway, iguanas are like that other lizard. Cool colors, but aside from that, not really that interesting. B tier. And now we're talking. The animal with the biggest bussy and the hardest abs. Looking like a real giga chat right there. The gorilla. Awesome dudes. Big, buff, muscly weirdos that stand in a really funny way as if they're showing off their bussies to whoever is watching them. Some of them make some really weird sounds like <laughs> when they bang their big oil. <laughs> when they bet. <laughs> When they bang their big oil buff muscle covered arms over their smooth muscly chest. Yeah. Also their head is shaped in a funny way and... Right wife. Life good. S tier without a doubt. Gorillas fuck hard and ride... <laughs> Gorillas fuck hard and ride wife. Gorillas fuck hard and ride wife. Even harder. Next. Alright. I gotta admit. 
I have no clue what in the world this ugly abomination even is. Like, what the fuck is that? From afar it looks like a strange breed between a pig, a rabbit and a small bear of some kind. I don't know what it is, but I honestly really don't like it. It has a real punchable face and it freaks me out. Uh, but at least it's not as shitty as snakes. Dummy thick. C tier. Moving on. Pax! The tier list maker probably meant it to be just dogs in general. But I don't play by anyone's rules. Come to think of it, maybe that's why I don't get along with anyone ever. And I have no hot goth small titty big butt GF. Hmm. Anyway, I'm not gonna rank them as dogs, but instead just as pucks. And pucks are awesome, cute but also really ugly. But that's what makes them special and near and dear to my heart. Just a shame that they suffer from being bred that way. It's honestly the only reason I don't plan on getting a puck, unless it's from a dog shelter, when I decide to bring in another dog into my home. They make funny sounds, grunt, sneeze and sound like a fat guy who stands next to you in the elevator and can't wait to get out again. They also tend to scream like a human, it's hilarious and cute as fuck. <laughs> Big googly eyes, flat face, I just wish they wouldn't need to suffer to look like that. But oh well, that's life I guess. Or more precisely human nature. Creating something like that just because we want to. Anyway, S tier. <coughs> Stay strong my puck soldiers, you're gonna take over the world someday. Captain's log. Day 3,700,233. It's been so long since I started working on this video. What was supposed to be a quick and easy job turned out to be much more than what I bargained for. As the days pass and the sun rises and falls across the horizon, I can't help but feel at peace. It's been so long since I saw another human being but that's okay, I feel great. While I work on this video tirelessly, I've got weird Shondo ASMR videos at my side to soothe this aching, throbbing pain that's been forming on my temples every now and then. I am floating through space. In my ears, an adult pretending to be a drawn child is making strange sounds and talks like she's retarded. Next to me floats a monitor on which the huge badonga dogs, big mummy milker booba bongos of milky mummy bounce all across the screen. I softly snort some cocaine off of shy Lily's forehead after realizing that I'm fucking gay. Will Asex finish this video? Will he find a way to beat the file corruption which forced him to split this video into two parts? Or will he be doomed for all eternity to work on this singular video, desperately trying to prevent the DaVinci Resolve file from crashing over and 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 over? Tune in next time to witness the thrilling conclusion to this epic two-part saga, only here. On you poor uh, YouTube. I said I said YouTube. I love this. So one day we will create a machine which will let us take a peek at the past, make us believe, make us see how far we got. No need to intervene and instead make them aware of our existence as foreseen. Do you think that they will think of us as God? Just a random thought from my mind I've caught. Someone who cannot comprehend such technology wouldn't it be crazy if that's how God came?